defensively last night? Mm. What was better the game two? Uh, we really competed and we, we stayed with our coverages um, overall. So yeah, we like we said, we try to build up every day so, and that was a lot better. I mean, you saw it. I felt I felt fine out there. Um, I felt that I felt like I did pretty well distributing the ball, making plays. So yeah, it was good. RJ, obviously you're playing Zion tomorrow. Have you? Uh, I know you guys talk a lot. When's the last time you guys talked? And what are you? Have you been in touch much? Or? We talked a couple of days ago, but we we haven't talked about the game or anything. So. Are you gonna pass the Zion tonight? When it gets to town or it's Maybe I'll, I'll message him when he gets here. So we'll see. Are you excited? Just facing him on an NBA floor. Yeah. Not regular season, but mm. not summer league. Mm. So. Nah, I mean, anytime you get to play basketball, especially you know against him, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Are have you surprised at all by how well he's? I think he's had four 20 point games. Mm. Some people have kind of doubted, you know, how he's gonna mm. translate to the NBA. Mm. Are you surprised at all how well he's played? He's too big, too strong. I'm not not surprised at all. He's gonna continue to do that. Hopefully, over his whole career. Will you be able to give some of your teammates some tips on how to? <laughs> Um, just got to try to make his finishes tough at the rim, uh, so it's about all the advice I could give. I know you guys have different spots on the floor. Scrimmages, did you ever defend them, just pick up and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, we played against each other last year in uh, scrimmages, and we had some good battles, and we're, we're going at it. One on one, uh, the shooting ledger for you was not uh, the best. I mean, mm. you seem to be missing some shots that you mm. normally make at yeah. the rim. Is that we you? Fine with the way the night went. Or? Oh yeah, I was completely, I was great with how it went last night. You know, just easy layups, easy stuff, yeah. wide open stuff. Like that'll go down. You know, that happens to every player. So yeah, I was, I was happy with the shots I got. Is it encouraging at the three preseason games? A lot of these days, the way you guys were able to play defense last night, mm -hmm. such an early part of mm -hmm. the season. Yeah, it's good. You know, defense has definitely, you know, been our focus and uh, try to get better at that end. So, you know, as long as we can lock up, we should be good. Did you and Zion just kind of bond right away when you got to Duke or how did that friendship develop? Mm. I mean, you were you're on the text chain mm. before you committed. Right? Yeah, especially when, when we got there in the summer, we were roommates right away. So uh, that's kind of where it started. And then we just started to do, you know, everything together, especially all the freshmen. We were always together. So, yeah. Would you consider him your best friend at this point? Or? Yeah, definitely one of my best friends yeah, for sure. Okay. No doubt. How much did you talk about nights like tomorrow, you know, playing in the NBA? Yeah, we talked about playing in the NBA a lot. And um, now that we get to play uh, against each other, it's going to be pretty cool. Do you think he looks at the garden with a specialness that you do? I mean, like, do you think he's going to be pretty motivated to play at the garden tomorrow? I think everybody is. <laughs> I mean, you saw what Vince Carter did last night. Like, everybody, everybody's motivated to play there, so, yeah. I think he said he wants to play his whole career in New Orleans, although it's, you know, you guys are just rookies. I mean, have you thought about that? Would you obviously want to stay here for your whole career? No, I mean, we definitely thought about playing together in college, but, you know, me playing in New York for my whole career, sounds great, to be honest. That's an honor. So, yeah, hopefully. Thank you, Audrey.